Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Who runs this town? That will be decided today. UCLA and USC are on the field, wrapping up warm-ups as the Bruins and Trojans get set to renew hostilities in the battle for the victory bell. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. UCLA is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. He's to the 20. Down the sideline. Across midfield. At the 30. To the 20. He's all the way. Touchdown. What a big time return for that young man. He makes the PAT. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Let's check out an old school, hard nosed, smash mouth, Big Ten style game. And for Northwestern, they've now won three in a row. And for Gay, he put up outstanding numbers, more than 350 yards through the air. The Wildcats prevail by a deuce. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Everett has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's to the 20. Across the 30. He's knocked out of bounds around the 48-yard line. Getting ready to take the field in their final home game in their career. The final games always have an extra emotional element in them. We'll see if they can channel that emotion and turn it into a victory. That's a great tackle at the 38. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. And down he goes at the 25-yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. And he throws it away. UCLA's got a guy that's in a running for a national award here, Herbie. And, you know, the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. the stop at the 12-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Brought down around the 13-yard line. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. He's gobbled up in the backfield.
from the 17 yard line. It's third down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Loss of five there. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick throw. Touchdown, UCLA! They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he tacks on the extra point. So that's an eight play, 51 yard drive. And they put up seven points. Gets set to kick this one away. Corner fields it at the seven. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. The Bruins are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Run, run, run. Tackle around the 42-yard line. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. at midfield. Makes it to the 47. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. First and ten. Ball on the 47. Gets to about the 47-yard line. No that makes it second and ten. him hard at the 30-yard line. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. From the 30-yard line, First down. Check 82, watch 82, ball coming in. Gets it, he's in space. They'll bring him down around the 23 yard line. Lawrence makes the set up at the 23 yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Tackles him hard at the 25. That's a loss of two yards on the play. Third down. From the 25 yard line. Third down. the throw incomplete pass there's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires the defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field they set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set 
Gets it out in a hurry. And it's incomplete. The offense couldn't convert, and that's going to cost him the possession. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. <laughs> this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receivers. Because, again, they put so much time into trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. Zips it to the back, and he's stopped behind the line. From their own 24-yard line, third down. So at the end of one quarter, we're even at seven in this one. Even first quarter as we head into quarter number two. Caught enough for the first down. He's tackled around the 41 yard line. First down. Gets it out to his receiver and he can't hang on. From their own 41 yard line. It's second down. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on That brings us third and ten. They come out in a five wide set. He's at midfield. Caught. And he's tackled at the 43. That's a game of 16 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Three down, three down. Mark 55, Mark 55. He makes his way to about the 28. That's good for a game of 15 yards. First and 10. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He's at the 20. He's taken down right around the eight yard line. And the tailback broke that one for a very nice game. Give the offensive line some kudos there. They blocked very well up front to create the holes for this back. They come out on an empty backfield. Touchdown, Bruins. Execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. And he hits the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Bitter rival, elite program. Florida and Florida State in the Sunshine Showdown. A tight game, two relentless fighters exchanging blows. The Seminoles have the lead, 7-0. Touchdown difference in this one, Reese, 14-7. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. At the 30, and he's tackled at the 31-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes.
Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Kirk gets about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. Fires to his receiver, first down. From the 34-yard line, it's first down. Inside the 10. And he shoved out of bounds at the 1. First down, and they are very close to tying this thing up. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. The extra point to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. So that's a seven-play, 68-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. 14 apiece. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 27-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Fires out quickly to the tailback, and he's taken down at the 41-yard line. Tyson's on the tackle at the 41-yard line. First down. He's at midfield. Tackle made around the 47-yard line. Game of 12 yards. First down. Roger, Roger. Mark 55, Mark 55. Oh, here we go. Oh. Check, check. Oklahoma. Makes it out to about the 30. Game of 17 yards. That makes it first and 10. bring him down behind the line the quarterback trying to do a little too much by himself hey maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it second down about 12 yards to go ball on the 32 
He's tackled in the open field. That makes it second and two. And he's level at the three yard line. Scrambling around. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and restate. The Razorbacks and the Tigers square off, looking for the coveted golden boot. And for LSU, they're sleepwalking through this thing. They don't turn it around. They're going to get into a world of trouble. The Razorbacks on top, 10-7. Reese, a touchdown difference in this one, 21-14. Carter is lined up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 30. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. And he's sacked. And for Hale, that's his fifth sack of the season. He really fought to get to the quarterback that time. He's certainly shown that he can get it done on a week-to-week -week basis. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball to 29. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Good job to identify the weakness in this defense. Any good offense will exploit those holes over and over again. Flips it middle to the running back. And they make the stop around the 49-yard line. Defense looked like it jumped early there. Defense. Looks like they got a little too anxious trying to jump the snap count. First and five. Ball on the 47. it out. Caught with room to work. In the 20. Touchdown! The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Well, I'm sure Reese is having fun giving updates from this game to our other games going on today. We've had back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back scores. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. Brought down at about the 31. Seven-yard pickup on the scramble by the quarterback. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down.
incomplete. Brought down, nothing doing. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. And down he goes at about the 47-yard line. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. And it's almost picked off. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception, and what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. He's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. Tackle right around the 32-yard line. There's a strike complete, and he's down. That's a game of four along the way. That makes it second and six. Quick pass. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. From the 15-yard line, first down. That's a great tackle at the 13-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. Fumble. They fall on it. So at the end of the half, 21-21 ball game. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. And we say it here all the time. It's not always about the X's and the O's. It can be about the Jimmy's and, and the, the Joe's. Joe's. But I think Jimmy and Joe appear to be pretty evenly matched here. And this might not necessarily be about who has the better athlete, who has the more explosive player. This might come down to which guy maneuvering those X's and O's does so the most wisely. Well, who's telling Jimmy and Joe where to line up? <laughs> they got to they gotta know where they're supposed to go. So I, I think it is important. And the coaches, sometimes you got to break character. You know, sometimes you know you're a predominantly run team, and that's what you do, and you're going to line up and pound it. But sometimes you face a good defense that's playing really well that they're not going to allow you to do that. And sometimes you got to get a little bit out of character. And I think which offense or which defense can take a few chances and get rewarded for those chances. Come up on the plus side of it. Create a big turnover. Set your offense up on the right side. Why don't you dial up one of those trick plays you got in your bag that you haven't used in a while that you think might could, might could work and might could maybe bust open this game and give you a little bit of separation. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house. Belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Coleman from the two. He's taken down at the 29. And now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's going to go for the home run. He got it. They'll bring him down around the 20-yard line. First down. He 
He's tackled right around the 12 yard line. That's good for him. That makes it second and two. This offense is trying to put the memory of that fumble on their last red zone trip behind them here. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. That, that makes, makes it first, first and goal. Hands it to the back. He makes it to the six yard line. should be makeable. UCLA could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the six. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Here's the halfback. Nice run, and he's brought down. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 30-yard line, second down. They come out on an empty backfield. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's taken down at the 47-yard line. From their own 47-yard line, first down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Very good tackle in space. That'll bring up second and three. three yards to get the first down here on third down. Kirk gets the ball. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. From the 15 yard line, it's first down. He's on the run. He gets sacked on the play. The defensive end just put on a clinic that time. You know, they might want to double team this guy with the back the next time they pass. And this play is number eight on the drive. Three down, three down. 35 to Mike. And he 
is immediately tackled. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. third touchdown. What I'm noticing more and more about this guy is he's very patient with the ball and it's resulting in some nice scores just like we've seen today. And he hits the PAT. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Alabama and Auburn head to head in the Iron Bowl. The Tigers have the perfect connection and a touchdown. The Crimson Tide on top 21-14. In other action, the Ponies ready to tee it up as SMU is set to go in University Park. And for North Texas, they strike through the air and score a touchdown. SMU in front, 24-14. Upset special happens every year. Maybe it's one of those weekends. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Both these offenses stepping up and answering the bell. Who's going to blink first here? <laughs> exactly right. I've just been impressed with the way they've been able to execute. I mean, there's, there's a lot of pressure on them. Anytime you're feeling that the other offense can put points up on the board, there's a tendency to want to press. Either one, either one has done that up to this point, and right now it's going to come down to who can continue to execute and put points up. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Got his receiver, but it's knocked down. Boy, the defender was just sitting back there waiting to make that big hit. He realized he couldn't get there for the interception, so he did the next best thing. He timed up his hit by the time the quarterback threw the football. As soon as the receiver touched the football, he made that big hit to be able to get the football away from the receiver. And he's hit immediately. First step. And he's taken down at the 44-yard line. That makes it second and two. Makes it to the 44. That makes it first and two. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. And he's tackled at the 28. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. That makes it second and ten. 
So it's second and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. An offensive showcase through three quarters. Will either team slow down in the final stanza? UTLA's got a three-point lead. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. made at the 36. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. The ball is loose. It's recovered, and they make the stop around the 46-yard line. First and ten, ball on the 46-yard line. He's under some heat. Brought down at the 35. From the 23 yard line. First down. Here we go. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on it. play of the series. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Bailey was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth, fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He launches one for the end zone. Touchdown. And now they're winning this ball game. And he adds the extra point. Teed up and he's ready to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. Brought down at the 22. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. It's almost picked off. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 22. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. That makes it third and three. was in 
incomplete, and it looked exactly like their last pass. It was exact same play, and I think the offensive coordinator just tried to pull a fast one. McBride, the return man. McBride fields it at the 38. He's tackled at the 46. The Trojans' offensive coaching staff's got to be asking the question, can we do this every week? Well, I think any great offense comes in with a plan, with an ability to run and to throw. And because this defense is so determined to stop the running game, you kind of turn the page in the playbook and you start to throw the ball more. They've recognized that, and they've done a very nice job of executing. Got it, and brought down immediately. Second down and five. Ball on the 41-yard line. USC is up by four. Ready. Green 88. Green 88. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. Thomas is intended to see the play. play. That'll yeah, make it 35. From the 41 yard line, third down. Offense lines up in a five wide set in a defense, anticipating pass here. He's got it out to his tight end. And down he goes at about the 35. UCLA's going to take their first time out of the hat. At the 34, a one-yard gain by the halfback. The Bruins use their second timeout. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 34. Handoff brought down quickly. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. UCLA's called their final timeout. receiver. He's tackled at the 24. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Just under two minutes in the game. After a decent run up the gut. That'll make it second and four. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Ready! Red 18! Red! Takes it up the middle for a nice run. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Here we go. Wide 80. They'll bring him down around the 13-yard line. So this one's in the books, and we saw a great one here today. USC, 35, UCLA, 31. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action of this one? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over to the next time they play. Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nestler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.